Hey guys, and welcome back to another edition of Pro Eye Truck TV. Um, in this episode, we're going to look at the new Ford Mackey. What we have, Mackey. This is a standard range car, um, and there's some really quite funky, funky things on this, and some of it is, that's the handle. I mean, who knew? Really, really clever. Right. This has got a range of a WLTP of 275 miles, but of course, as I always say, and I can prove it and show it to you in under, under probably five or six different models that we all operate ourselves now, that WLTP doesn't mean a great deal. You know, I, I wish it did. Motorway mileage kills these, kills electric cars. Round town, I suppose the WLTP is, is manageable. I'd like to say you should be getting something in the region of around about three and a half to four miles per kilowatt hour. You know, we've seen it less in the winter and as much as four in my own car in the summer. So it's gonna be how it's been driven. And, and I think the better you drive this car, the more sustainable you drive it, the actually better you're going to get. Lovely thing about this, it's got DC and AC charging, which of course a lot of new models have. It's capable of onboarding 11, 11 kilowatts, thank you, 11 kilowatts um, AC and up to 110 kilowatts of DC charging, which means you can charge this car from about 20% to full in about 45 minutes, which actually, to be fair, it's pretty decent. However, one of the things I've learned um, over the last couple of years of, of, of tramping the UK roads in electric cars is to take the power when you can. So stopping at um, the right kind of charger, doing a few emails, um, having a wee cup of coffee, grab a sandwich, and instead of having it in the car on your lap, go and sit down, take a break, and 30 minutes of charging to this will give you a good 150 miles, and that's pretty decent. You know, you can carry on and plan your journey. The thing I advise for everyone really is to ensure that you plan your journey with electric. I made some fatal mistakes at the beginning, of course, I'm a typical bloke, you know, push buttons and see what happens and hope for the best. I think a little bit of planning here, bringing in something like ZapMap so you can actually plan the charges, you know where they are, give yourself that challenge, step off a little bit earlier than you would and the world will be very different. And it, take, it took me some months to get used to being able to operate in that environment today. Um, there's nowhere in the UK today that I'm not, I'm frightened of going as long as you've got a little bit of planning in front of it. But look at the car. The car is a very, very nice vehicle. Um, I think when you looked at uh, some of the other models we've seen and one of the things that, that always concerns me is storage. And I think all electric cars have their challenges. But we looked at the last one and of course it was very small. This is actually, you know, more voluminous, even though it is small, you can get a lot more in here. So your tools and, uh, and certainly all your cables and all the things that you want to it. But this is, this is the, the, the brilliant of electrics. This is your work of the work. Screen wash, put your cable away. We're good. So really good. Heavy car, lots of, it's really funky, really chunky. There's, 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 it feels solid, which is great. Really good. Again, look at this, you know, push button and the dashboard, the display. It, I have to say, it's just 2022, it's state of the art. And it's everything you'd expect from a, a modern EV. <laughs> it's pretty decent. This is a good car. Um, and I'm gonna tell you how good it is in six months time when we've got 15, 18,000 miles on it. And again, in, in 18 months time when we've maybe got 30 or 40,000 miles on it. We've been in and out of Ford. We've tested the, the service regimes. We've seen how much it costs and how, because there's lots of conversation around, oh, well, you know, servicing is going to be really cheap with electric vehicles. That's how they're going to be. So that's how you can afford to pay so much for them. We've yet to really test that. There's different models, different manufacturers are really coming at this from very different arenas. So again, what we're trying to do is support you by sharing the information that we've got it, we do it through our all of our, our channels and everything's available from the Pro Hire website on our Pro Pro Green page or Pro World page. Please dive in there and if you need any information, you want to look at what we're doing, then just shout. And as always, you know, everything we showcase is available from Pro Green or Pro Hire on contract hire. You know, so we're, we're running this equipment, we're managing this equipment, whether it's electric vans, trucks, 
we're moving into hydrogen, all of those things are available for a conversation. And great thing about the presentations we do and the conversations we have, it doesn't cost you any money. So our content in this world is about trying to help you get where you need to be and not try and take something from it. So it's not trying to take advantage, it's about trying to share real world information so you've got some proper, understandable dialogue right the way across from chargers, from battery technology and beyond. So with a lot of these things, of course, battery tech is great, drives forward, good range, fast charging, a cable tidy at the front. But what's the boot like? Let's have a look. You know, um, yet to look. A lot of the challenges with electric vehicles, of course, is the, is the size of storage and, and, and all the rest of it, especially if it's an SUV or crossover, because you've got a family to, to manage. This is not bad, you know, I have to say. Um, you know, as you can tell, we just picked the car up, lots of Ford boxes. It is brand new. Um, so the next time we show it to you, it will probably have some war wounds and some scars, but that's the only way you're going to really tell how good something really is. Boop, yeah. Charging points, all sorts of bits and pieces. Under here we have, oh, look what we got here. We've got a bag with something in it, an air pump. So I'm assuming, well, there's definitely no spare because there's no room for one. So it's, it's looking at how we, let's have a look at what's in here even. Why not? Be rude to tempt you with a bag and then not tell you what's in there. But let's have a quick look. Another set of cables. So we're going for house cables, I guess, as well, with a seven kilowatt charging for home. So that's what you've got in there. So this is capable of charging at home um, on a seven kilowatt um, system. But equally so, my suggestion with, with any of this stuff now is to ensure if you're taking a, a, bat, a car with big batteries and, and 70 kilowatts and up are, are a decent size set of batteries, you need to have a proper seven kilowatt um, charger set into your home um, and you can work from there because it really is going to make a big difference to you. But not required, you know, not absolutely not required um, to operate these. But I think as the world is moving into a different place, people talk about infrastructure all the time. And I guess the challenge about infrastructure is these cars, there was more cars sold in March of this year, uh, 2022, than the entirety of 2019. So the, the, the bit for me is infrastructure has planned its way forward and it is growing. But what's happening is the EV superhighway is overtaking it and really moving out there. So getting onto charges externally, Yes, it's possible. Yes, it's expensive. Yes, electric is more expensive than it was. It's still far cheaper than diesel. But doing it at home is where the control is going to come from, especially as we move forward over this next year or two. So this is a quick delve into something we're very pleased to see on our own fleet. We're very pleased to be able to have one of these to, to look at, and we're going to look at some more. I'm delighted to be able to talk to you guys again from, from Pro Wire Truck TV. As I said before, please subscribe as you can. We're trying to produce content that people are, are asking for and everything's available on our Pro Hire website. Either on the Pro Green page, Pro Hire Truck TV page or the Pro World page. Looking forward to seeing you guys really soon uh, with our podcast and again our next video is already in for, 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 for two weeks time so take care guys and we'll see you really soon